Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the 7 Works channel. Today, we're going to be building the Master Grey Gundam Asteroid Brew Frame D. So, this couple actually got a little bit sorry. So, I somebody bought me. So, it was actually one of my friends that bought me during my birthday last year. So, I decided to give some love to this couple since uh, they bought me this. So, I decided to start the Master Grey series. Just a giving a little bit of explanation about the Master Grace series. So I will be doing the Master Grace series video separately. I will be doing the unboxing individually and the review individually because I don't know, I will just test the time out for the first time. So because most of the Master Grace, you know, is pretty, is, is a pretty big box and the review it will take a long time because I have to explain some a lot maybe a lot of details so I don't think I can do what I did to real grade or high grade that I can shove the review and the unboxing together so this time I decided that uh, uh, for master grade series or RE100 series in future I'll be doing the unboxing and the review separately anyway enough talking so this time back to the asteroid blue frame D right here so it is a variant of the second L and the loin green uh, version of the blue frame so this unit is specifically designed to battle the asteroid Noir which is the the peak down here the asteroid Noir which I bought as well uh, is coming and you know but it's, it's a bit of drama because when the asteroid series manga was came out uh, Guy Mulaku, which is the pilot that, uh, which is the pilot of the asteroid blue frame, the he don't have the ability to control Dragon system because Dragon system is for those people who are super coordinators like Kira Yamato, or for those people who have who can control the Dragon system naturally because they are naturally given in their genetics, such as Mura Furaga. Uh, Raulu Cruze or Lei Zabale. and suddenly uh, during the during the battle scenes between the Blue Frame D and the Astray Noir, suddenly that uh, the authors and the creators reveal to us that Guy Mulaku can use the Dragon system as well. That is such a bummer. Okay, you you didn't set that in the original settings, and then suddenly you're throwing something at us. I feel like the Astray series just went downhill, and, like when they start to do those Gundams like in like a very weird thing they have like such overpowered weapons that can like that can like absorb energy like all kind of weird stuff that's why Gundam Astra used to be very popular because they are sticking to the drama but now they're not very famous because uh, because they are just like primary school stuff you know what I mean by primary school stuff? It's just like writing the extremely powerful weapon without thinking about the the uh, consequences. So that's why I kind of stopped watching Astray as well because since the Lord Astray came out, it says like it could be like the strongest thing in the C century. I kind of stopped watching Astray because I feel like it's not it's not realistic anymore. It, like I mean, the setting is not really that realistic anymore. It's just a it it looks like a bunch of kids playing with their toys and then just like ah, I, I'm gonna draw the best weapon in the world and then annihilate the whole world anyway so now let's look at these box art right here so at the side right here we have the dragon system so it have four dragons it have the sensor dragon uh, the sword dragon and then I believe one is called stealth dragon and then the last one I believe is called like the Beam is it, it, Beam Dragon. I don't, I don't, I don't remember. So, essentially, because it's a master grade, so it should be finished pretty well. I don't really do need to do much recoloring. Then, at the side right here, we can see that um, the cockpit right here, of course, is going to be featuring the master grade where it have a pilot actually sitting inside the cockpit. And then down here, we have see the Asteroid B series. So this time, it came with two figures. And then the markings right here is the markings right here is here as well. And then we can see the Voluva Striker. I don't know how to pronounce that. Somebody please help me. So essentially, it's the it's the Dorakong system to stick on the Striker backpack. And there's a display base as well. But I'm not gonna use this display base anyway because I have the uh, Dorakong formation base for this kit. So now let's unbox it first. Guys, I gotta tell you that I'm really impressed about how many runners is in this 
whole box right here. I took 10 minutes to open everything up and set everything up. It's crazy. So first we can see the really colorful and really handsome cover of the of the roof frame. As you can see right here, this is a lot of runners. And the one thing that I like about the master grade instruction menu is they gave you the storylines and they also gave you the uh, the rest of the small details such as uh, who is uh, Guy Mulaku is fighting and then giving you the details of the Serpent Tail which is the mercenary organization and then they also gave you the storyline and then give you the brief detail of the pilot and the uh, MS as well and they also gave you the parts and then parts is free about the Astray Blue Frame D and then looking at right here, we can see that there's a lot of crosses as we can see. So I assume that even though this is a regular release, it's just using the same frame with the all the Astray use the same frame, just to let you know. And now we're just looking, looking at this. So just quickly looking at it, it's not that interesting. So at the, mid, at the middle part right here, we have the painting for the pilot right here. So. Uh, we can see Murakumo guy and the girl down below. I can't read Japanese, so I can't I, I can't recall who is she. And then we have the one point technique, which is one point step in this version. And then we have the documentary photographs. And then down and then at the other side we have we have we have the introduction of this vol. I give up pronouncing that. This is I don't know how to. I don't know how to pronounce that. So we have the blight gun, which is the main weapon, and then we have the inner frame. And then just keep keep moving, keep moving. The striker, bab, bab, and the extra base down here. And then here, back here, is the instruction of all the markings and the dry decals. And then at the back here, we can see the standing position of the asteroid blue frame D. Let's getting started to look at the runners. First, we have A runner. So A runner is the universal runner for the Gundam Astray. All the master grade that use the universal runner right Bad. here. So it contains the chest part, the legs part, and then the head part right here. And then we also have the back of the shoulders, the shoulders part, and then we have the back of the head, and then we have the clay pieces for the sensors, and then we have Oh, I can't recall which part this is. And this is the feet part, and then we have the clear piece for the head. We have two polycaps. Action base one, XA1, XA2 runner, they are exactly the same, so I just take XA1 as the example. So right now what you're seeing is the figure of the girl right here, and then you can see all the all the extra part for this blue frame, these specifically including like the Dragon system and the blade gun. The XC1 and 2 runner. Uh, it's mainly focusing on the Dragon Blade and the Blight Gun and then the head part as well. That's basically it. We have two All Runners. The All Runners is for the feet of the Astray. We have the XD1 and XD2 Runner. The XD1 Runner, they uh, basically these two runners is for the the, the, the striker backpack at uh, on the on the MS and then also the inner frame of the Astray Blue Frame D. We have two different H runners right here. So this H runner right here is from the AO Striker RM version. So because of the striker backpack at the at the Astray Blue Frame D is actually really similar to the uh, AO Strike. So they just reuse the parts and then just snap on it. Then we also have an X2 runner right here which I don't know which uh, where it's used. We have a K runner. This runner is mainly focusing on the backpack. We have the F runner. This is the, I believe this is the hands part and then this is the backpack. And then all the inner joints of the Astray because this is the universal runner for the Astray series. D runner. D runner contains most of the body part of the Astray. It's mostly on the inner frame because we can see the waist part right here. And then we can see the legs part. We can see the torso and we can see the backpack as well so this is mainly the inner frame of the whole Astra unit we have two e1 runner this is a huge runner i gotta say that so this mainly contains the inner frame of the Astra blue frame you can see the legs part and then you can see the kneecap the kneecaps and then you can see the hands part right here we have two c1 runners they are the outside armor of the Astra. you can see the legs part where you can see uh i believe this is the waist I think this is the waist and then you can see I, I, I can't remember which part is this and then we have the arms part here as well 
So this is for the outside armor. The B runner again is for the outside armor, the waist part, legs part. Oh, I can't remember which part is this. This is the legs. And then we have two figures right here. The standing position of Murakumo guy and then the cockpit version of the Murakumo guy. XB1, XB2 runner. This is for the Astro Brew frame uh, outside look. You can see the new antenna right here and the new chest because most of the Brew frame the design is actually redesigned. So they only contain the uh, universal Astro parts and because because most of, the, most of the part is redesigned, so a lot of part don't get into use. So it will be using this runner to instead put on the outside. G runner, uh, this is a runner that I'm pretty familiar. This is the waist part. This is the, the, the torso part, the, the bottom part of the torso. And then these two right here, I'm not really sure. This part right here, it looks like the bazooka. Lastly, we have the stickers right here. We have for the eyes, and I don't know what these two white parts for. We have the marking stickers right here and turn it to the back we have the dry decals um, I hope I know how to apply it I do I did I did spend some time and then you know looking at the tutorials hope I don't mess it up but anyway that's all the things inside the box holy cow that's a long list of things so that's basically everything that I go through inside the box the runner and the stickers I go through everything of it thank you guys for watching uh, wait for my review video to come up. Be sure you leave a like on my videos and subscribe to my channel. Hit the little bell next to the subscribe button so you can get, get notified whenever I upload a new video. And I'll see you guys in the next uh, review video. Goodbye. I'm running out of breath.